Alrighty, let's just see what I've done over here. Remove the seat, fuel tank, the expansion capsule, and the valve clearance adjustment. Alright, and of course, the undisconnected the spark plug cap. Let's get the other side over here. You see, to do valve clearance, we need to find top dead center. Top dead center, that means there must be free play on both rocker arms to do the valve clearance. Rotate the engine anti clockwise, anti clockwise, not clockwise, anti clockwise. Let's just see there, top dead center. Got my torque wrench over here to stop the bloody uh, flywheel from rotating. All right, now how do we know? Oh, we're on top dead center. This one over here has got excessive play, and this one over here is tight. So, this obviously telling me that this thing's on a compression stroke. Now, if you're going to adjust your valve clearance with the rock on with this amount of play, what's going to happen is you're going to go for a ride on a motorcycle and it's going to do this. That's going to be very, very embarrassing. So let's let us rotate the engine again and find the top dead center because right now we are on, we are on the compression stroke. Right? Let's just. Alrighty, we just uh, rotated the flywheel once again anti-clockwise. So again, the top dead center. And you can see it there. Uh, there we go, top dead center, once again, to 360 degree. All right, get yourself a torch, a Fritz Lich, all right, rotate the engine. You'll see that I've got the torque wrench over there, stopping the bloody flywheel from rotating. Let's just go check here. This is, this is the time to adjust your valve clearance. You don't adjust your valve clearance when your rocker arm got so much plays in the first time. Now we adjust, you'll see that there's a slight play. That's obviously there for the, Love clearance spec, right? Okay, hopefully that makes sense.